Hi guys. So first off, I just want to say thank you to everybody who wished me a happy birthday after my last video. I did have a really nice birthday despite the fact that Casey can't tell. I was sick, which is why I haven't posted a video in almost a week. Normally, I'm the type of person that even if I'm sick, I'm very just go, go, go. I try to always still get tons of stuff done. I got that from my parents who are like the hardest working people I've ever met. Um, but this time I was sick with a really high fever and when I get a fever, I'm a total baby. I'm completely useless. I have missed sitting down and filming and getting to talk to you guys about books and book stuff. So as soon as I felt I was healthy enough to get a video back up, I was gonna do it and I'm feeling healthy enough to do that today. So I'm gonna do the book buying tag and I was tagged by Becky Bookworm whose channel I will link in the description bar down below. If you don't know the tag, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's just basically what are your book buying habits. I think that might actually be the full title of the video is the book buying habits tag. But it's basically, do you spend a lot? Do you not spend a lot? Where do you get your books? You guys will get it. I'll just start with question number one. Question number one actually is where do you buy your books from? And I get my books from either my local bookstores, which are a combination of used and new books, uh, Barnes and Noble, in-store and online, and then Amazon, Book Depository, and Book Outlet. Question number two is, do you pre-order books, and if so, do you pre-order books in-store or online? Initially, I would pre-order books from Amazon because that way they're delivered to you the day they're released if you have Amazon Prime. But I recently discovered that the used bookstore that I live near, you can pre-order books and then the sales for that pre-order will help get a lot of the times those authors out to your city. So definitely I now pre-order books from them if that's gonna help get authors to do book signings. Question number three is on average, how many books do you buy a month? I almost don't want to answer this question because I know if I think about it, it'll be like forcing me to think about my financial decisions in life, but I definitely spend a lot on books a month. Jeez. Oh, um, it depends because my husband and I are always trying to find ways to get store credit at used bookstores, so a lot of times we'll get books that it doesn't really even cost us anything. Um, but I think I'm making excuses. I probably get somewhere between five to ten books a month? It could very well be more. We're gonna move on to question number four. Do you use your local library? And I personally will use my local library if I have a book in paperback or I have a series and I have them all in paperback and I'm waiting for the next one to come out in paperback and it's not gonna be out in a while. Then I'll go and I'll read the story using the book that's at the library and then I just wait to purchase it when it's in paperback. Question number five is a continuation of the last question, and that's if you do use your local library, how many books do you borrow at a time? I have tons and tons of books that I still need to read, so if I'm gonna borrow a book from the library, I'm probably only gonna borrow one. Question number six is another library question, library question, and it's what are your opinions on books from the library? And I think books from the library are great. I think libraries are a great thing. I have Nothing against them. Question number seven is, what are your feelings about secondhand bookstores? And I love them. Secondhand bookstores are some of my favorite things, especially the one where I live because they sell both new books and secondhand books. So you can pretty much find whatever you're looking for, but sometimes you can find what you're looking for on sale and for pretty good condition too. And then there's another used bookstore where I live where um, I've mentioned this in some of my other videos, they accept instruments and video games and all sorts of stuff, magazines. So my husband and I have gotten so much store credit before. We actually bought, um, this has nothing to do with books, but we actually bought our second PlayStation 4 remote from them using just store credit. We also obviously buy books there. It's just they offer other stuff too. Question number eight is do you keep your red books and your to be read books on the same shelves. I definitely keep them on the same shelves. The only time I separate them is if I'm planning on reading certain books for that month, I'll pull them off of my shelf, put them somewhere else so they're more accessible and then I don't have to stare at giant gaps. Question number nine is do you plan on reading all of the books you own? And I definitely plan on reading all of the books I own. Maybe not some of the ones my husband owns, but definitely all of mine. Question number 10 is what do you do with bad books or books you didn't really like? and I just usually bring them in for store credit so I can get new books that I hopefully will like. 
Question number 11 is have you ever donated books and the answer is yes. Question number 12 is have you ever been on a book buying ban and <laughs> currently the answer is no. I probably should but as of right now no I've never put a ban on myself for purchasing books. The last question, question number 13 is do you feel you buy too many books? Uh, I didn't know that was such a thing, but I'm sure if you asked like my dad, he'd be like, you already have lots of books. What are you doing buying more books? And I'd be like, I got them on sale. Also, I'm pretty sure I've done the digits backwards for you guys for the past two questions, but whatever. Anyway, there you go, guys. There are my answers to the book buying habits tag or book buying tag. If you guys have never done this tag, but you want to, please feel free. I tag all of you. Um, and as far as specifically, I'll tag Sylvia K because she's super nice and I don't think she's done this one yet. Thanks again for wishing me a happy birthday after my last video. Hopefully by my next video I won't be still kind of sick, although I have to admit I kind of like my voice better when I'm sick. It's less like high pitched and annoying. <laughs> anyway, if you liked the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the little bell icon so you get notified when I post new videos, and check out some more videos right over here. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!